Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And I honestly cannot tell you how many hours I've spent like this. Car wedged in a wall. Between the two characters, probably over 100 hours. Something something ridiculous. I have no idea. Maybe not, but I think that, that would be my guess. For you see, I have idled my way all the way to level 85 here. Reputation level 85 for the tuners in both characters. And what this has granted me, or at least theoretically should have granted me, is all of the vehicle trade prices. And that's that's kind of a lot of money. I mean, you're, you're saving about 400 grand a car, so that's 17 cars. That's how you get to 85. You get, you get to unlock a car price every five levels. There's 17 cars. Five times 17. There you go. I've been doing it in these stretches. I have each each character has a patriot stretch. This one is obviously in the delivery of what I would consider to be my nightclub. That's that's the the Tony's Funhouse colors. That's what the that's my interpretation of the Tony's Funhouse look here is going on. The other one, I've, I've dubbed Creamsicle. You might see that in a little bit. You should see that in a little bit. But we're we're done with this now. I'm not going to, like, you know, do this to level 100 to get all the rims or anything like that. And, again, not all of my rep came from that. I do do a good amount of racing. But, I mean, this was, for probably around 30 or 40, I just said, heck with it, before they changed it so you can't do this. Because they have set it up so that you can no longer idle off televisions. You get, you get idled out. I think you can still do it from security cameras, but I don't know how long that's going to last. That might be an oversight. So they're making it harder and harder for you to, to grind overnight just to build up your nightclub stuff. I did make a good amount of money back up, you know, back up over $50 million for now. Probably going to change in this video, but still, we're, we're there for now. And we can take a look at this. Pull the cards out of the uh, keyboard here. How much do we have? We have 50,800,000, and in a couple short minutes, we're going to probably drop that very much closer to just 50 million. Do we finish the time trial? Yeah, might as well. We, believe it or not, the Patriot stretch is really kind of nice for drifting. It's kind of a tap the handbrake. Wee! Cooch critter? Really? 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 So we'll slide this around a little bit. And then we're going to go off to our auto shop where I've already taken advantage of this level 85 plus kind of lifestyle. And we'll, we'll show you that. There is currently, I don't know if it's a prime sale or a regular sale. 30% off the Futo GTX. Yeah, I'm going to get one for Rusty Jack. And if you're curious as to how I'm going to paint it, you can see I've changed crews again. There will be some crew paint going on there. That roughy crew orange. Might go with the chrome sickle, the crew of a chrome orange. I see we're half we're, we're halfway to eighty six. We're doing good, but you know it's we, the eighty five was the critical thing. You know, I the rims and the deliveries and all that. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. Exit the LS car. We're gonna pull right out. And you're saying, why, why are you using this stretch? Well, since I'm spawning at the LS car meet, I think I've mentioned this in other videos, I wanted something I could be comfortable in. I, I just, having, having done this with Rusty for a while, for a while I had my Moonbeam as my, my spawn car, but it just seemed like this had to be the way to go. I mean, you could just stretch out in the back. There's a mini bar in there. If, I've, if what I've seen from, from missions, uh, you know, for the nightclub means anything. This would have to be the thing if you're going to just kind of live in a car. 
or stay overnight at the LS SWAT at the LS car meet. Why don't you please? I'm sorry. You ran out in front of me and stopped just to be in the way. All oh, that. There are consequences. He, he didn't die. He's okay. And we're not going to pull it. Maybe we should pull it in here. I don't think I have enough room to do to pull that off right now. You'll notice I'm wearing a Karen cap. Because purchases have been made. And a couple of vehicles. Another vehicle has been moved. So let's zip in here. Now we got a vehicle to, to work on there. Did I get another lift? Do I, have, did I only get one lift? This one might only have one lift. Okay. That's fine. So here we have my collection of tuner-esque kind of stuff. This isn't a tuner. It's just very bruffy for many reasons. That, that, that's, a most, that's a very close rendition of his actual life car, apparently. Won that one. This is, of course, the glitched Karen. We'll see how long that lasts. <coughs> Not the Rona. Just waking up. It's early. This one here. I'm probably going to move this this uh, coquette over to the arena workshop just to make some more room for tuners. You don't have a lot of parking. Um, this one, I think I won that one too. That's another winner of some nature. Obviously, you gotta have an ASP. Very nice. Now, here we have my tofu delivery cars. On the right, you have the original one when I first got my, this is my first Fudo ever. I got it years ago. And this was like the standard thing to do. You do kind of a, some kind of initial D sort of homage. I didn't really, you know, didn't really have a good feel for the show. I still haven't seen it. Which I know you're saying, what? You play GTA and you race all the time. You haven't seen initial D. What is wrong with you? It, 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 it's a busy life. I mean, you get there at some point. But this was uh, what I came up with. And now they, they've come up with the, the Futo GTX, and it's like, well, you could pretty much make it perfect. I mean, that's... And you can... Yeah, that's... You can't really... There, it's, I wonder what the lettering actually says, because that's not the same lettering as in Initial D, which is probably there's a reason for that, but I wonder, does that actually read something? Is it something obscene? Is it, you know, something that's completely nonsensical? I'm going to... I wonder... It's, it says, someone translated this. Is, is, can the internet save us? And this is just occurring to me now. Let's let us go Google. GTA 5. Or GTA Futo GTX. Does it say anything in the wiki what it says? Right. It doesn't. No, I'm not fine. That's. We're gonna have to come up with that. We're gonna have to come up with what that actually means. I'm, you can't kill too much time here. I've kept it as close to tofu. There you go. You see, they've actually put a little tofu thing on there. This is the tofu delivery car. So, the new tofu delivery car is going to take its place in my pantheon of, you know, cars that are movie-themed up in my office level two, is it? Yeah, office level two. But what do I do with this one? I mean, I've had it for years. I can't really bear to get rid of it. It might, you know, it might. There might be some other options here. We can we can take a look at some of the, the other livery options. It'd be nice if they added the. Uh, I know they added some livery suits. I wonder if they added a uh, classic decals, rusty. I could just make it really rusty, like I've had it for years, because that's kind of accurate. I like the duct tape, Karen Rally.
Oh, there you go, the Itasha Drift. We kick it oh so wrong, and yet, if we change nothing else, it'll be obvious that which car it was. Can we go for that just because it's just so wrong? Instead of, <laughs> I just got that, instead of Fucho, it's Tofu. Is that where that came from? Is that where they call it the Fudo in the beginning? Is it because it was the Tofu car? Have we finally cracked the code? Have I finally, everyone else has known this for the last eight years or whatever it is. But it's, uh, it's Tofu instead of Fudo. This has always been the, the original Tofu car. Do I leave it stock or do I spend the 25k and make it just bizarre? And anime sexy. Come to think of it, I'm almost positive this is exactly the same. Hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on. Because I think, I think they might have gotten a little bit cheesy here. I'm noticing something. Let's bring the tofu car in. Now we know they're all tofu cars. Because futo, tofu. Delivery. That's delivery boy, okay. Classic decals, that's the same. That's the same. Same tape. It's the same liveries. Exactly the same liveries. Alright, some of these might be the stance that the locked ones might be a little different. That's the same. That is pretty much is it not the same locked out level 147? Stance awareness. Obviously, we're not changing this. This is going to be the delivery boy car now. But now, now I feel obligated to put the level 147 livery on this one. Because why wouldn't we, right? Because that is kind of nice. Just as it is. Futo, tofu. We can always, we can always take it off. Tasha Drift. Is it exactly the same? No, the hood's different. The hood is a little different. Maybe it's just very derivative. I, it looks... Okay, so it's not exactly the same, but it is dang close. Okay, let's repark this. So this should be pretty close, and I need to let's leave here. And let's hold on. Whoop, I'm getting a, a knock here. Let's let's play some hold music for one second. Yeah, we're gonna have to hustle this because real life is starting up. Is that just is this a car to steal or is that just a guy? I've been looking for all the cars, but you know, because they're, they're double money on those. Oh, it's this deal. No, I'm not doing that. Don't worry, I'm not bothering you, you drug dealer guys. I'm not. I'm not going through all that for for what it is. Okay, for right now, the only the only spaces that I have. Well, let's give ourselves a a path here. We yeah, closer than that. All right, <laughs> everyone's lost their minds. They're all just ramming each other. Like the original Fudo is still a great drift car. I, it could, I don't know if it's better. I mean, you do have so many options. 
with the Fugo GTX, like the lowered stance. And is there room in B1? No, we put something in B1. So B2 has the room. I'm leaving the wheels. I'm leaving the paint job. It should need lights. I think we need to put lights on it. E to modify your vehicle. We go to lights. Neon kit. Neon layout. Let's give it neons. Pony pink or hot pink? Pony. Hot. The hot pink has more of a, of a pornography feel to it, doesn't it? Whereas that might have more of an anime feel. It's kind of... We're on the border of both here. What goes more with the pink of the car? Technically the pony's a little more fleshy, but I think that matches better. We're going hot pink. Can you give it the pink headlights? Just to make it completely wrong. Yeah, why not? Why? Why not? Because. So we've completely debased. Completely debased the Fudo. No, we're not doing that. Everybody else can do the whole mission thing here. So we're gonna just gonna hot pink our way across town here. Whee! That's still that's still the drug guys. No, 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 go away. No, 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 no. We've already reparked this. As heinous as it is. I couldn't get rid of it, and you might as well do something with it. So, I'm too attached to the, I'm too attached to virtual things. Probably too attached to real things, you know? Need some kind of monk aesthetic. Release yourself from worldly attachments. Oh, while I was there, I should have called in, uh, called something in and pulled that car down. But let's move this puppy. Boop. Well, that's a rare sight to see two things at once. Maybe it can only happen with the tofu cars. Let's go up there. Still chasing me. Look at that. It's like, dude. Dude. You doofy doof. I yeah, know, I'm taking my own, my own my, my life into my hands here. Let's see if the bus will run him over. I can push him. Okay, there we go. He's parked on it. Ooh, you know what we should do? Let's go to the vehicles. Vehicle stance. Slam it. And let's drive it with a lowered stance. A true drift missile here. And we are pizza boy. Whoa! Ooh, we are just drifting. I'm no expert drifter. I mean, you know, that's... Everyone wants to think that they're an expert drifter. I'm, I, I'm a novice. You do get a little bit of speed out of it, though. So we're gonna, we're gonna use that to our advantage here. I do wonder if it'd be worth it to go lowered stance in one of these, and then go on a, uh, a stunt track with it lowered. Can you? If you lower it. And then load a race. That's that's gonna be something we try at some point. Is it faster? It's only gonna be. I think it's two. There we go. 
So up into the, the movie and television car rack here. Well, like the, the first floor of 2A is kind of a lot of my main cars, but there's a lot of movie cars in there too, so it's, uh, you know, the Deluxos and stuff like that. Quick tour here, you know. You got the Tofu Delivery Boy. And I still cannot believe that I never put Futo and Tofu together. The Mirthmobile, the car from another 48 hours, or 48 hours, and this is a sequel. Family Truckster, politically correct. Oh my goodness, it changes the uh, badge? It doesn't change the crew color. So now it's badged up with the, with the crew, so when I change this back to, uh, to base, then it'll have the other... The other badge. And what's happened to the flag? That, that looks awfully muddy. What happened to the... Okay, we're going to quickly to modify the vehicle. Now that's standard orange. I'm wondering, is it more of a generally... If I respray this... And crew. That kind of does look a little more General Lee like, don't you think? Is that a better Dukes of Hazard orange? Well, we could always get it back to the other orange, but that's. And then where's. Respray. Secondary color, you keep chromes, you got the chrome thing. But where's the roof? Why are the flags so muddled? used to be like that. Like, I don't have, like, a... This isn't a, crew, a chrome crew setup. This is this is just... That was regular paint. I don't know. All right. So the, the flags aren't as pretty as they once were. Now they're... Now they're all faded. And they're all faded, right? Stock roof. Painted roof. Okay, well, well then. The standard thing to do is set your uh, set your crew logo to a zero one, and then you got the the, the real General A here. But that's my politically correct General A, the Mystery Machine. You got the the A team the way I remember it, without the the silver, the silver on the top. That's I, that, that's how I remember it. And yes, you can say, well, TVs back then weren't real good, so you couldn't tell if it's between kind of just lighting and a slightly lighter gray. It doesn't matter. Then we have, you know, the Tommy Versetti special, and we're starting to break away a little bit from the, the movie theme. Here's our holiday themes. Halloween, Christmas, uh, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, and Easter. And so then we'll go all the way down to the first floor. Booga 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 booga. A booga 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 booga. You see the theme continue. You've got Back to the Future, Street Hawk, Batman, Speed Racer, and then these two are just two cars from my youth. Of matchboxes. I've gotten videos on these before. You know, this one's yeah. They're both actually based off matchboxes, not Hot Wheels. Believe it or not. And so there you have that. Good times, good times. What do we take? What do we take out of here? Probably be a good idea just to take the Futo, but because that is our our kind of themed car for today. Booga 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 booga. And I'll bet you a good. 50 to 75 percent of the photos that are going to have this setup. It's not like it's not like it's unique. And it does stay stance. It does stay lowered. All right. All right. We set that to lowered. Whee. Boom. 
Alright, let us. You know what we're gonna do? While we're here. Let's we're gonna we're gonna change this out. For my for my stretch here. Notice the Karen hat. I'm gonna lose the Karen hat at some point. Well not like lose it permanently, but like change it out. We're going to basement level three. Nope, nope, wrong one. Nice cars in there, but no wrong ones. Basement level two. Oh no! Wait a minute. In this one, I've got it in the um, in the service, in the service entrance. That's right. It is on uh, Rusty Jack that I have the patent stretch in uh, level three. There's so many cars to keep track of. There we go. We're taking this because we're role playing. The RP here is that if I'm going to be spawning at the LS car meet, which I do simply so that I can just log in, get the daily bonus, and log out again. So, well, where would you be sleeping there? You don't want to be staying up all night. It's not like I'm whacked on cocaine or something, staying up 24 hours a day till I die. This is our home away from home until... Uh, it's too bad you can't park one of the campers in there. You can just literally camp out. It's some kind of wildly customized camper. But that's, for whatever reason, a Pegasus vehicle. And I can't tell you why. Let's, should we... Let's drift this on back down. Oh, are you... Is a car there? Oh, dear. Uh, this is probably not the most efficient way to do this anyway. Someone's anger. Ooh, you know what we can do? Let's do one more thing. If this person comes after me. I'm going a gun. Wow! That was... Kind of neat. Let's do this. Uh, no, you know what? We're just going to park this. I'm, I'm going to move that blue car later on. We'll do that off camera. That's going to end up getting moved to parking garage to just to make some more tuners. I'm really limited with parking on this car. I mean, it's really a sad thing. Most of my new car experience kind of stuff's gonna have to happen with Rusty Jack because I do not have a lot of parking. Like I'm gonna get the coupe, I'm gonna get the uh, whatever turns out to be the fastest or nearly so tuner. Like I mean, if the uh, if if one of the other ones, if like the, you know, if one of the other ones is the uh, the fastest tuner, let's say. But it's really difficult to drive, like, the Calico. But, like, the... Let's say the Sentinel Classic, you know... RS is almost as fast, but a lot easier to drive than I'll take the one that's all... You know, the same kind of thing. Like, I don't... I didn't... I never really drove the Piss Foster Dominator, even though it was the fastest for the longest time. You know, it's not now. Instead, I would drive the uh, Custom Saber Turbo. Or later on the cleat because they're, they're easier to drive and I can keep up. I can keep, keep up better than I could in a piss blaster dominator because it wasn't that good at driving it. So, here we are. Drift it in. So I'm going to probably get like whatever, whatever car I'm going to be racing with and the coupe. And that might be it for a while for this character. There's a lot of things I'd like to get. But there's not a lot I'd like to give up. And at some point you run out of, uh, almost whacked that guy with the door. He didn't even flinch. You, you sir, are badass. So let's swap character now. Actually, let's do first things first. That was, this was just for the video. Oh, wait, wait, where's none? There we go. None. Not, not, none. There we go. Styling. So let's swap the characters now here. And we're going to go below 50 million. For certain. Swap the characters. Swap it, swap it, swap it. That will get back up over 50 million. But I mean, slowly. I'm not grinding. I'm not doing KO Perico. I'm going to race. This is... 
getting to the point where I've, I've gone back and I've gotten the popularity even up on my nightclubs. For the most part, I'm not I'm not grinding anymore. I will do CEO stuff as it organically happens, probably the way they intend it to happen. Gee, I've been playing, you know, I've been racing for two and a half hours, probably. Go up, sell the bunker. Wow, it's been a while since I've checked the nightclub. Oh, look, there's a lot of stuff in it. We'll sell that. Maybe I'll wait till he, you know, I get the notification that something's maxed out. But I'm just going to go back to racing and kind of just chill. We're just going to chill here for a little bit. That's, that's going to be the plan. And hey, look, it loaded. That's really nice. All right, see, 85. They're, they're almost identical progress levels, which is really interesting. I didn't plan to that. I might go after this, which you need to get a top five in, like, ten races. And it can be Pursuit or Street, so... I already have a GTT, but that is the George Fulmer GTT homage right there. There's no question about it. And you know, I I can I can see myself even in the other account making room for another GTT. They're just I love that car for reasons I have discussed previously. But let's get over to our vehicle, which is over where? Where is it? Behind me. Oh, there it is. The orange wasn't popping, so I didn't really notice. It's, it's a huge vehicle. But let's let's do something. Let's give ourselves a reason to go someplace. All right, we've already got the trade price, but now it's down to eight hundred and thirty-four thousand seven hundred fifty, which you can see will drop us below fifty million. But that's okay. We're gonna get it in, a, in an orange to begin with, and in the way that some forty-year-old frat boys only respond to paddles and hardcore. Hardcore splooshing. I'm not even sure what they mean by splooshing. I'm sure there's a... a I'm not going to the Urban Dictionary here. You can, we can all guess different things. Hardcore splooshing. The Futo GTX needs a firm hand to reach its optimal performance. In fact, it needs less of a driver and more of a disciplinarian. Enter at your own risk. And remember, if this thing doesn't have a safe word. It's just so wrong. These guys are just, they're just so wrong with what they do here by. And this is going to auto shop storage because it is a tuner. Below 50 million, that's okay. Let's do this up. I don't know that you get, you should get rep for that, Jenny, and I don't think you do. Maybe when it's delivered. All right, let's fire this up. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have to go bang. Sometimes you don't need to pull the menu up, sometimes you do. So we're here in our chrome sickle. Somebody's in there already. I don't really I've driven without the line, but we're not gonna we're not gonna overthink this morning. We're just gonna relax. And I did all that, I wanna you know again we'll just reiterate, I think I said this, but with what Rockstar are trying to lock down the ways you can idle. That just makes you want to idle more. And but after a hundred hours, you know, of really, really hitting it hard to get to level eighty-five and get all those trade prices. I'm thinking that's probably adequate. You know what I mean? That's probably I've made my point. Don't pull it in. Don't pull it in. Don't slip it in. Let's just park this over here. This doesn't really fit the theme of the, the of the garage it's in. It's in the blue and white garage because it used to be white. It used to be just like the um, just like the the Prince one. But we decided while we were here, let's do make it a chrome sickle, and then momentarily, this is a car I could probably move move out as well. It's kind of a dude up version of my friend Derek Buffington's little car. As you can see, I have a yellow GTX as it is. I could just change the livery and I could have that other one, but I would not mind parking this boss next to the Fulmer styled one. What is taking so long? There we go. Do -do -do. 
should we modify it here or no let's see there's discounts involved here but we've got some money let's go for the rep we're going for the rep i got the food toe vibe tofu was Futo always just tofu backwards? That's going to plague me. I'll never... And, you know, if none of these liveries calls me, I could see doing another to tofu carbo with different colors or something like that. But we're going to see what... what calls. That is unlocked, of course. Well, it's not unlocked. Well, that's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the rest of the rep to racing or whatever or for whatever time I am in there. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hardcore idle. Now I will tell you this: if for some reason something comes up like a special event, like it's triple money on gun running or something like that, yeah, I'll be in here idling, and there'll be no question. I'll be maximizing rep on. Well, I'm I'm getting triple money on gun running and trying to maximize all that. Don't you know special event kind of stuff like that? Special event week stuff, sure. We're there. See, I don't think you can just hit G here. Now you have to hit the menu here. Some stuff you can just hit the button. You have to hit the menu here to get to the to that. Well, let's rev this puppy up. Armor, armor upgrade, and D. We got some rep. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Chassis, inner cooler. Intercooler with water sprayer. You can't really see anything. Let's just go monster again on this one. Because you can't hardly see what's going on. We'll just go doors. Primary wind deflector, secondary wind deflectors. I don't even know what the colors are going to be. We're going to go secondary. Fog lights. Bump of fogs. Yellow fogs. That's, you know. Rally lights. Mark II rally lights. Bumper fogs and rally lights. Which one do you think is the, the nice little chrome bars for me? Here they're kind of just. That's more integrated into the bumper. That's more of a bolt on. I think I'm gonna go, bump, go with the more integrated into the bumper. The more the, the more complete look. Roll cage, padded full roll cage. There we go. Why do they call it a dash dodger? What's the Oh, it goes around the dash as opposed to into the dash. Now, let's let's use the full roll. Okay, let's, let's use a padded roll. Okay, let's throw some money away for no reason. That's I love throwing money away. Come on, back me out. Engine, engine block. Primary, secondary. We'll go secondary on the valve covers. Paint it up. Cam cover. Go primary on the, the cam belt cover. Strut brace. The wide titanium. I do love titanium. You know, it's air filters. Let's go individual pod on these. Engine tunes, obviously. Let's rev it up. out if you would let me if back out if you would let me come on we say we'd fix that we could go really wild here okay exhaust 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 the love exhaust V blast that's you know, your classic then it gets to be ridiculous then it gets to be more ridiculous then it gets to be what the hell are you people thinking why would you even consider that a thing the zigzag that's that there's so much back pressure after what yeah there's there's that shukatan love i do have a little video i may put up i was gonna get a bonus for this one i think i'm gonna try and do this one without any edits or i went through all these and first time like why would you do that Okay, so that's ridiculous. 
and I'm tempted to do it, but it's too ridiculous for me. You've got it. The exhaust pinches off here. Like nothing's gonna. I can't. The ultra shokatan. My engineering side is just twitching. Let's do slash dangled. Ooh, titanium. That's just a thing. Okay. Slash dangled. Titanium still good too. I guess either one of them will get knocked off if you bump into something. So let's uh, let's just leave it as it is. Fenders. We're gonna do something here. Retro wide body, secondary retro wide body, carbon no. Let's go secondary retro wide body. Headlights. Now we're not gonna give it broken headlights. Secondary hood. Where's some lifted hood? Lifted hood means it doesn't it doesn't latch properly, or you've got just to to vent some some heat. A vented hood would be better. So vented, vent, interesting. You can't get a secondary vented. Get carbon street. It's either carbon or, or um, grease hood, transparent hood, secondary transparent hood. Wow, I thought that was that's that's glass, man. That's let's do that. Secondary transparent. Hood. I don't know what the secondary is going to be yet. The horn. Halloween loop is still there on right, Liberty City. I don't know. I don't know what horn I want. Yet. We're just gonna let that go for right now. Leave it. Leave it as a honk. Interior dash. Carbon dash and stripped interior. Do we want to go that route? Do we want more of a street kind of thing? Street interior. There you go. It's the street interior, as I recall, I couldn't find a difference between the street interior and the regular one. Seats. Painted sorts. Carbon track seats. Carbon seems like it'd be uncomfortable. Yeah, let's go to tuners. This is a tuner's DLC. Steering wheels. We can give ourselves a, fu a funky Formula One kind of turn professional rally basic, rally clubman, rally professional. Let's go all the way down. We'll go rally professional. We're gonna funk this up. Lights, headlights. Don't know what color they're gonna be yet. Neon kit, neon layout, yes, but we don't know what color really might still be that. Oh, Rockstar, fix this menu thing. Livery, okay. Classic decal. Delivery boy, you still see that. Rusty, rusty. Karen. Tosokin Dori Futo. Got some blue going on there with some flames. Probably missing out on some flames because of the transparent hood. Drift King, that's down. That one's locked at 87, so at some point. So these, that one might, that one kind of goes good with my whole uh, toothpaste and orange kind of theme that I often do. We've we're not doing any of that for any time soon. Do we just want to do the tofu? Another tofu build? For right now. I'll just go classic decals for, for, for this one. For right now. I mean, I'm building it wild, but...
By my ability, street wild. This is racing car wild. Could be just another, another, the second delivery car for. Things have gone so well, they've gotten more delivery cars. Let's do another delivery boy. I'm so uninventive. Respray, primary color. Let's consider crew. Not much different than what I got there. It's a little brighter. I don't know that I want to go cro you know, chrome crew. That seems a little dim. It's a little bit, you know, for what I'm trying to do here, I want to go bright. Crew color, but now. You can't do it for less than over crews. My knowledge is probably away, but back it out. Secondary color. Metallic. I mean, we could look at doing it solid crew. That seems a little, a little bland. So we're going to do that. We're going to go metallic. Okay, so there's lime green, which is still unlocked, and it's probably best. There's frost white. There's ice white. Cream. If you want to go full bruffy simp, that's the bruffy simp car. Okay, and that's if we want to go full bruffy simp. I don't think I want to go too bruffy simp here. I want to keep some midnight purple. That that still kind of works. Spinnaker purple. That's simpy, but not entirely. Shafter purple. I mean, the purples work with the orange. Obviously, that's why people use it. Bleached brown. Sandy brown. Like, those those would work good if I did the whole car in, like, a different... A di two different browns, which is a possibility. We may do that. We may abandon the whole crew concept altogether. Here. Moss brown. Ooh, sienna brown kind of works. Sienna brown with an orange overlay and kind of a... Let's hold on to that thought. Beechwood. Is be who do you think? Beechwood, Sienna. Beechwood is definitely Sienna, if anything. You think in the browns. Light blue. Now you're talking... You can get into... Ultra blue. Racing blue. Racing blue doesn't look bad. Nautical blue. Dun, da, da. Surf blue. Now, surf blue, we're into kind of a, a, a Ron livery here. Diamond blue. Doom, doom. You sure do shine. Harbor. And you got into the back into the greens. Do yellow. Yellow, yellow, bronze, bright orange. We can do orange on orange. Turbo orange. Sunrise orange. That's, you know, two-tone orange. Salmon pink. I know some of you are looking at this. What's the perfect color? Why would you, why would you leave it at that? It's got to call to me. It's got to fit what I'm going to be cruising with. Cast iron silver, midnight silver, these these colors. I feel like you need something to offset the orange, but it can't be too far off. I mean, it might be black as just, you know. The car does call for kind of a black. It could go with the, le the lettering. And we were already back to what it is, so it'd be free to keep it just as it is, like this. It's either gonna be black or or beechwood brown, or you know, or sienna brown, rather. I don't know that I like the brown more enough. To make this the color of the color. I think we're going to leave it black for right now. Trim color. Can we get crew? Can 
that be our, uh... No, no. We're not doing that. Let's just go Ice Wife for right now. Accent color we'll leave alone. I'm not changing the, the lights on the... Go back to livery for a minute. We got delivery boy. And Karen 86. I don't know. I'm liking the theme of this is the second car from the Fujiwara... However you, whatever the name was. I have to watch that show. It's doing well. They're moving a lot of tofu. We picked up the second car. Roof. Roof scoop. Carbon arrow roof box. Does that fit? Off the track. Packing rubber. None of that's calling to me. Kind of this one a little bit. But that's just going to get in the way of seeing if I'm racing. And not that I'll necessarily race this, but not that I... Secondary... Oh yeah, we're going to do primary bump strips on this like the other one, because that just looks cool. Skirts, this time we're going to do it. Primary skirt extension. Spoiler, we're going to go a little bit wilder now. That might make it really tail. The circuit master wing. It's so big you can't hardly see it. High lift spoiler. We could just do double, double spoilers. Like, wait, let's, let's, do we want to go crazy on this? I can get caught on stuff with that. That's just ridiculous. Let's let's do this. I love lip spoilers. We're gonna do a high lip spoiler there. Sun strips. I'm saying I, I've been burned by sun strips by having to drive in first person. Slam it. Transmission, rev it, turbo, obviously. Wheels. Uh, let's see, tires. We're gonna go to. Oh, let's go with that tire. We're gonna go to wheel type, tuner. We go chrome or black on this. It'll be Fujiwara. Obviously, come on, back us out. Hello. You have to kind of hope. Or do we want to go crew on these? Can we go crew? Can we get, can we get them? Or at least some kind of matching. Actually, nothing will match because we didn't go with a standard color. All right. But the bright orange is close. Do we want to go that route? Or just do them black. Traditional food you are black. Or white. Let's see. There's some. There's an aesthetic to that, where the the lines kind of where, and it does. It will match perfectly that way. Where the other one's going to be a little bit off. Tires, tire design. Good customs on this. Tire enhancements. We could low grip this if it's going to be a turbo drift kind of thing, but I'm probably just going to bulletproof it for right now. And tire smoke, obviously orange. We 
little color. Is there like a, a contrasting? The frost might white might work there. I'm making another Bengals car here, but you know it's not it's not got actual stripes. So let's yeah let's do frost white, because then that'll pick up with the accent colors. And we'll leave the lighting alone. And maybe we'll change the smoke back to white. We'll just have, we'll leave the white smoke. Windows, light smoke. Window spoilers, get in the way. Primary, secondary carbon. Let's keep it primary. Why should we go secondary? And there you go. We're almost at 86 here. Huh? Bumpers, okay. Front bumpers. The drift bumper. Attack bumper. Race bumper. Wide body drift bumper. Okay, that's that kind of flows nice. I like I like the wide body drift. It's wide body street kind of reaches out a little bit more. Wide body drift. Rear bumper. Street bumper. Drift bumper. Let's go wide. Let's go drift bumper. We'll go radical there. Bumper accessories, subway, Shuruka Fakahak, we're doing heart. I don't know what a Surakawa is. What is a Surakawa? I'm gonna Google it. Dun 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 Surakawa. What is this? In Japan, the word Surakawa describes objects usually suspended that help standing passengers to keep their balance while the vehicle is in motion. Although Surakawa is the name commonly used, some people also call it Suroa, which means ring. Why do people put Surakar on the back of their car? Okay. Either attached to a car's rear tow hook or interior grab handle. Surakars are a piece of flair with delinquent origins. As a part of this, and to show how little they cared about authority, Bozoku members would steal Surakar from subway trains and strap them on their cars. Okay. Yeah, no. We're not... <laughs> I, mean, I realize that's... Uh, that there's some, there's a, that's a nice detail here. Probably, you know, not gonna do that. Just for the extra money, what the hell. I'm not in that click, so we're just gonna. Are you sure you wanna exit the mod shop? And let's see, let's test track this. So here we have, we got a Bruffy Scumbags crew, orange and black. So yeah, it's very, very Bengals. Very, you know, Cincinnati Bengals. But it's not... So I can live with it, I can live with it. Let's just... Uh, Um, the less car meet, time trial. Lined up. Now we're not stanced out here. But I'm expecting it to still be a drifty thing because it is a food truck. Tap the uh, handbrake there. It's not a bad feeling car, I'm sure. It doesn't feel quick. Like that quick, quick, quick. Yeah, 
Yeah, and it will it will snap around. Very slippy. It does feel like it's a good drift car. Eh, it's just first impressions, you know? It's not quick. It's not quick. Eighty six! We did it! Unlock light dinka forwards cap. Oh, let's see, let's see how it feels when we go to vehicles. Can't change it. Too far from my personal vehicle, not even I'm in it. Enter the car me. Can we stance it and then go back in? Let's dance it and go back in. Do, 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 do. And after this, I gotta get some breakfast. <laughs> this is an early morning run. And yeah, I might just throw up. <laughs> no, I might just uh, throw the uh, the clip of me modifying the the original, doing the uh, the tofu uh, hauler, the white one. Just as a little bonus video. Vehicle stance lowered. Now let's just see how drifty this thing is. And I can see leaving this lowered because really it's not a racer. If I'm going to do anything with it, like if I'm going to take it on a stunt race, it's just for the memes. Let's do tire from that. We don't need that. Anymore. No point in taking up the slot. Let's, let's, let's drift this slam daddy. Let's drift this slam daddy. Daddy slam. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's pleasant. Do, 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 do. Again, not fast as far as track time is concerned, but yeah, I don't think this would ever need the low grip tires. That's this is what you'd want to be able to maintain those drifts. You need some control. Power is nothing without control. And I can see, this is a car I can see myself repainting and relivering and making wild and just periodically going crazy with it. Maybe when I unlock the, uh, the kind of the cyan turquoise deal, I mean, I'll make it a, 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 an orange juice and toothpaste car. Maybe I'll, maybe I will throw the Princess Bubblegum livery on it at some point just because I hit 147 and I'm celebrating. You can see, not quick, but drifty. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.